hi everyone welcome back to my channel tn art i hope you all are well so let's start today's video today i will be showing you this mold so i'm sure that you already have seen this mold but i will be making it in my style so what i will be doing here is that first i'm going to open it of course So first of all, this mold is really beautiful on its own. It has such a sparkly bit inside. It is a crystal mold and I'm going to make it in my way. So what I will be doing is that I have mixed my resin. So I have taken a low viscosity resin for making this mold here. And there it is going to be fairly simple, but just follow these steps and then you can make something simple to extraordinary. Although this mold has its own beauty, but still you can add a lot to it. So what I'm doing here is that I'm just uh, using my heat gun to remove the top layer of the bubbles. So this is clear resin that I'm pouring inside the mold now. So very carefully from one side, I'm adding the resin because I don't want to introduce any air bubbles. So I'm going a bit floral here. These are some uh, tiny roses. These are already dried. I'm adding them to the resin. So this will avoid any bubbles. So I'm just going to dip them into the resin and then accordingly the amount I need I will add into the mold. So there are a lot of way of adding flowers to your resin projects but there is uh, over the years uh, seen that uh, if uh, there is uh, a special style of flowers when you're adding to your resin project to make them some something stand out. So here what I'm doing is I'm carefully selecting some of the flowers and they are not the normal usual ones, some different and some color combinations. So those were the normal uh, rose buds. Now I'm going to add the pressed roses. So these are roses that are already pressed. So I'm going to add them. So I have cut my rose into two and I will be adding one half on one side and the other to the other side. So normally uh, you have when you if you are a beginner uh, I recommend that you do this in uh, two layers for first layer you just add a little bit of resin and then add your flowers let it cure but make sure that it is still a bit sticky but it's cured and do the next layer in this way you don't get any lines in between but I'm going to do in one go so yeah so here I'm just putting up all the flowers so this is actually what I, I will be doing here now. So you all know that I like to add some depth into my flower projects. So I usually use a lot of black, but this black is a bit on the transparent side, not a uh, true black color. Uh, it is a transparent black. So a hint of this is going inside the mold now. So I will be working in layers. So that much of the resin, a black resin was enough. Now I'm going to fill this up with the clear resin. So I really love to share my techniques with you because uh, these are the things that if I'm going to sell them, I'm going to make this way. And it also this can uh, help you in putting up a high price on your item. So there are a few ways of doing that. I, either way, you can just put your flowers and just put the resin inside or if you go with a little bit of uh, changes so these are very tiny changes that i have over the years i just watched that what type of resin items do stand out and from the crowd so you can create something unique and one of a kind so you can see that i am adding my resin very slowly this will help me in getting a very very crystal clear end result So after filling it up, I'm going to add these orange lilies. So in my observation, uh, these combination of flower do go really well with each other. So I will be putting a little bit of here and there. So I have added my flowers. Now the next step is that I'm going to top this up with this holographic inlay and I will be very carefully putting this, putting this into the center and then I will be leaving the sides so that in this way I will get a very clean finish. 
So I really want to see how this is going to be affecting the uh, drizzy on the top of the resin product. So this project is done now on to the second one and for my second one this is a second mold that I got from Intu and um, I was really uh, excited to receive this mold. This mold is actually a case for the airpods and it is for the apple one and it's and it is for the second gen. So here again I'm doing the same thing so I will be doing these in the same style so I carefully adding the resin and then I will be putting the flowers in the same theme as I have done for the first one. So again, I'm very carefully adding the resin into the mold. So to this one, I'm going to add a little bit of fantasy film and then I will be adding a little bit of gold foil. And the third thing that I'm adding a bit different is that I'm going to add the black pigment uh, resin in there, but it will be a, a kind of a smoky effect. So that what I will be doing with this one. So it's the same uh, design, same uh, product I'm using in this one, but with a bit of a different technique. And I forgot to mention that I'm going to add some crystals also. So I'm adding some uh, pirate crystals and then I added some abalone shells and some crystals AB also. So there are a lot of uh, some elements that I am doing different from that. So in this tiny package, you're going to see a lot of things. So I will be doing that and you just enjoy the process. It's all done now and I will leave this to cure and I will see you next day. So this is the next day. Super excited to see how this turned out. First of all, I'm going to remove this holographic. So this is such a fun sight to see when you remove the holographic sheet. Little bit of a spill on the resin so it is easy to remove. So I'm very carefully removing the outer edges here. Now to remove the actual uh, geode. So it is out of the mold and the drizzy already I knew that it is going to be amazing but uh, the holographic uh, insert on the bottom is going to give it a rainbow effect so I'm really loving it and you can see how the flowers are looking on this one. So this is the result I will be doing a little bit of top coat on the sides of this one so I can get a clear finish but all in all I'm happy with the result so it's time to demold the airpods case let's see how this turns out super excited to see these so it's been so hot in uk lately and the things are already uh, although they are cured but still so soft so these are out of the mold and i'm just loving them how they turned out And this is the end result. You can put our name also on top of these to if, you, if you're going to gift them to anyone. So let's see how both of these look like. So this is the final result. I did a top coat on the sides. Now you can see clearly you're going to see how the flowers are looking like. And you can see the drizzy. It is so clear and the rainbow on the top of this drizzy. It is looking really lovely. I just love this one. 
so i made this in this way you can make it in different way the flowers of your of our wedding or if you're going to make it a memorial piece you can put those flowers inside this so it is really up to you whatever way you want to take it so these are a few ideas it's really up to you but i just love it and it's it can be a lovely paperweight for your desk for your offices and unique one of a kind so I will link everything in my description, including the 20% off discount code also. So you can treat yourself. Each mold from the Into Raisin is always an experience and I just love to work with them. They are so one of a kind. And this is the AirPods case and it is again a very unique piece. Uh, I hope the camera catches and the sun shows you what um, I'm actually showing you. But I just love this one, how this turned out with the simple flowers that you just arrange yourself a little bit of a few things and you're ready to go and uh, again as i explained that you can put names if you're going to gift someone and uh, same you can put your flowers so really up to you so that's it for today i hope you liked today's video and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and take good care of yourself bye, -bye.